Okay, folks, so when we last left off, we were looking at our Columbia University hosted webpage, our very thrilling, thrilling webpage. Um, and now we're going to go, uh, we're going to walk through again this sort of terminal Git process. So hopefully all of you now have Git installed, and I apologize for not knowing it wasn't uh, already on your computers, but you know, these things we forget after a while. Um, so go ahead and open up the terminal window. So again, um, if you are um, on a Mac, you're just going to go up to the little magnifying glass in the uh, top right of your um, sort of home screen, uh, your desktop, and type terminal and you'll come up with this. Um, if you're on a PC, you are going to go into your start menu and in the search for programs look for git shell, um, which is going to be black with white text probably by default. Um, so here I am, and uh, again, the main commands that we're going to use are ls, which is list, tells me where I am, what, what the immediately available folders are, and uh, the next thing that we're going to use is cd, which is change directory, and again, the, the trick here is that if I start with, if I start spelling something, because again, it's very case sensitive, and of course, we don't want to spend our time, you know, exactly copying lots of file names. So I'm going to start with DE, which, if I look at this, is actually unique, right? I've got documents and downloads to start with DO, but the only thing that starts with DE is desktop. So the, the, the magic here is the tab, right? I hit tab, and it's like, yep, I know what you're talking about. Go for it. I hit enter. I now have this thing sort of showing me where I am, desktop, Susan E. McG. Do another LS. Oh, yeah, there's, there's my folder there, right? Okay, so I'm going to, again, change directory, CD, into that. It's the only thing there, so it's pretty easy to tab into. And there's my index.html file. So now I want to go through the process of setting up a space where I can do this kind of this version controlled saving. It's going to help me keep track and most importantly help me uh, save my progress without having a million different versions of the same file to keep track of, right? It's going to do that for me internally and then it's going to give me that nice pretty, um, that pretty view in the cloud when I put it on GitHub um, which is handy for switching computers and also just, you know, in case anything should go awry. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to, I want to make a new folder. So we're just actually going to watch this happen. So here's my data visualization folder and I'm going to use my magical make dir, right? Make directory and I'm going to call this um, first web page as we did in class. There it is, like magic, it's a folder. Now, from here, I can also see it in my, uh, uh, in my terminal window here, and I'm going to cd into that. Okay, there we are. ls doesn't return anything because it's empty. But I want to create, um, well, we're going to wait on creating the readme file. Uh, and the touch thing with the readme is just because you don't have to do it that way. Just wanted to show you that you can just like make a file, right? It's like very simple. Um, so anyhow, uh, let's get on Git. So I'm gonna again come back to my web browser here. I'm gonna go to GitHub, right? GitHub.com. Do do do. It will load. I need to sign in again. Um, so I put in my username and. Good stuff. I do not want you to remember my password. Thank you very much, Chrome. So I'm going to click on my username, not that I need to do that, but I want to create a new repository. So again, a repository you can think of as, it's basically just a folder. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a folder. So I'm going to say create new in this little guy and say new repository. And I'm going to make the name of this repository on GitHub the exact same as this folder that I created. It's not strictly necessary, but it's sure going to make things a lot easier to understand. So I'm going to say first web page, and it's going, yep, you don't have the check mark means there isn't another, you don't have another repository already called that. Um, and I'm going to not do anything else right now. Um, create repository, fantastic. So as I mentioned in class, you want to make sure that, that you it sometimes defaults to this SSH and it starts with git at github. Okay, you don't want that version, you want to click HTTPS. And actually, this is showing you the stuff that you like need to do in order to commit this. 
So let's follow these. We'll follow these directions, sort of. Meh. All right. So first, I'm going to I'm going to go back to the terminal now. So so I have this thing, right? I have this quote unquote repo. And but there's nothing in it, right? It's empty. This is in this is on the internet. And I have my local one. I have my local folder here. So the first thing I want to do is I have to I want to create I want to tell my com computer, my local computer, look, I want to start tracking files in this folder. So in terminal inside my first web page folder, I'm going to say git in it for initialize, and it gives me this message. Hey, I am I initialize an empty repository, right? Now I am going to use my touch readme readme.md okay and now again if I look in here I go oh look there's a file there right great and I'm also going to move my index.html in there because you know they belong together I'm not going to worry about opening the readme right now um, nor do you need to worry about it uh, I'll show you a way that we can deal with it in just a minute um, to get stuff in there um, so now I'm going to do an ls, and I see indeed my readme and my index.html are both there. So two steps. I have initialized the repository, but the repository is empty, right? It's my empty Halloween candy bag, so I want to put some candy in there. And uh, to do that, I'm going to say git add, and first I'm going to say the readme. And again, this tab trick works kind of all the time in terminal, which is really nice. And so it says sure. I'm going to say git add index sure. Okay, and if I run something called git status, so git status is just letting you know at what point in the process you are, and it's saying, hey, look, changes to be committed. So what it's saying is, hey, I know about these two files that you've added, readme and index, um, but you haven't like saved them, you haven't committed them, and you haven't, yeah, you haven't saved them away in git lingo, which means to commit them. So now we want to commit them. So we're going to say git commit. And we must, 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 must um, have this dash m, which is message. This is my commit message. So I'm going to start with the readme and say, I'm just going to say committing empty readme um, will edit on GitHub. OK? Notice the double quotes. And then I'm going to give it the name of the file, right, which is readme. Good. So it's we. Um, here's a bit of lingo for you. Very often uh, you will hear the term echo. So when you say um, the terminal, so in this case the terminal is showing me the commit message. We sometimes say that it's echoing it, right? It's repeating it back to me. It's an echo. So it's echoing the commit message and it's saying, look, you changed one file and actually it's empty. So it's zero insertions, zero deletions, right? An insertion is adding a line. A deletion is deleting a line and it's saying okay read me md so now i'm going to say git commit i'm going to take care of my index.html and so i'm going to say um, committing my very basic web page and i'm going to say index great and it's saying great here we are that's my commit message i committed one file there were 12 lines of code in there there you go. Again, it's you don't need to pay close attention to this, but just so as you as you get practice with this, you're going to see these messages, and you know you'll just sort of get comfortable scanning and be like, okay, everything worked the way I want. So now, um, if I do a git status, it's going to say, hey, everything's good. You haven't changed anything since you la since you since you saved all your stuff with me. Um, so I've got everything I need. So now we want to connect this local right this these local files that we have here to the internet so we can back it up and the way we do this is you can actually again this is if you're on a Mac you can actually just copy this entire line git remote add origin HTTPS right the whole thing and so I'm going to do that and come back to terminal right so I could just do this um, you can go ahead and do that for my Windows friends. You just have to be a little bit more manual. So that's so where our super mean copy editor comes in. So git add, uh, git remote. Okay, so git is the name of the program. You're telling the computer to use the git program to do this. Remote. 
I want you to do this with, I want, this is, this is for the internet based repository. Add origin, add is the action, origin is what's the connector point on the other end, and then this URL, this HTTPS, yada, 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 is actually the URL that we want it to hook up to. So just to, and for each project that you do roughly, so we're going to do this pretty much once a week from here on out, um, at least for the next several weeks. So again, you'll get practice at this. Doesn't always go right the first time, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, GitHub, and then it's going to be slash username. And then it's going to be the name of the repository. So first web page. We do have to be careful of capitals here. Dot git. So it ends in git, right? File extension of a git file is dot git. And no news is good news. And now I'm going to say git push origin master. So git, again, the program push, push it up to the internet. Origin is that endpoint, right? The the place on the internet is connected to, and master is um, is the name of the so-called branch, and we'll talk about branches. But for now, you can just think of it as a nickname um, for the set of files that you're working on. And it's going to say, "Hey, you haven't saved your credentials with me, so put in your name, put in your password, and." I don't know why I'm getting this. It's saying error. And yet, it did this stuff. So even if you guys see this error message, I'm not honestly sure what's going on right here. But um, if you see this counting objects, six done, yada, yada, writing objects 100%, all of this stuff, that is good news that you managed to get something onto the internet. And you can check by reloading this page. And there we are. So we have our files on GitHub now. I'm um, going to take a pause here and just come back, do a few last little tweaks that uh, reflect what your assignment is going to be for Sunday night, and um, then we'll be ready to go. All right, see you in a moment.